Hey travelers, Dr. Joy here, and I have a question. Are you flying in the summer? What's up, travelers? In case you haven't heard, the TSA is rolling out facial recognition technologies. It started in 16 airports in December. Now we're at 25 and the count is growing. It's currently voluntary, but we know how long that might last. Facial recognition is igniting debate all over the country. As possible record-setting crowds fill airports nationwide, passengers may encounter new technology at the security line. This type of screening is banned in some cities, including San Francisco, but in other airports, travelers may notice kiosks with small cameras checking photos on their IDs to verify their identities. The TSA plans to expand this facial recognition technology nationwide next year, but many privacy experts believe that the technology is still just too risky to trust. They are rolling this out on a voluntary basis, but often without giving travelers a clear indication to opt out. But what happens to your valuable face data after it's scanned? In 2019, the Department of Homeland Security reported a security breach. This is urgent. Biometric rights need to be upheld. European lawmakers see the dangers of AI-powered facial recognition and have voted to move forward with the landmark EU AI Act. Under the proposed law, they'd be categorized according to risk. The higher the risk, the more rules. But systems deemed to pose unacceptable risks or curtail freedoms will be banned, including facial recognition in real time in public places. The EU AI Act bans the live use of facial recognition in public spaces because it is discriminatory and invasive. TSA's own roadmap shows that they want to move from a voluntary program to a mandatory program. If we want to be leaders in equitable, ethical, and responsible AI, this is a move in exactly the wrong direction. Shall we go over why this is worrying? One more time for the people in the back. One more time. A government study on the accuracy of facial recognition technology showed that African American and Asian faces were 100 times more likely to be misidentified than white faces. But even if these systems were perfectly accurate, now we have to ask, do we want the face to be the last frontier of privacy? Because we're then creating a surveillance state apparatus. Although the TSA says they're not going to share your face data with other branches of the government or law enforcement, what's to say they can't change their mind? What's next? We know this type of thing is never just limited to trials. Traveling is stressful enough. Consent, you need to have a real choice. We're already getting reports that travelers feel unsafe to say no. If you don't comply, can you fly? If people of color know that they could have some sort of incidents of racial bias through these types of systems, do you think it'll turn folks away from this space, from our airports and make them feel less safe? We already are having reports of people feeling less safe. Our own director of policy and advocacy, Tawana Petty, was traveling from Detroit. She has been studying these systems for a very long time, and even she felt like she couldn't resist. Plus, five senators wrote to the TSA urging that they halt the use of facial recognition. You don't have to compromise people's biometric security in order to provide physical security uh, at airports. We need answers, but we don't have to wait for the TSA alone. We are here to help. The Algorithmic Justice League is launching the In Plain Sight campaign. It's Freedom Flight Summer! Now is the time to push back before the government moves from pilot to requirement. Tell AJL what your travel experience was like. Was there notice? Did you have an option for true consent? What happened when you try to opt out? Did the technology work for your face? And what's happening with that face data? What concerns do you have? Let your voice be heard. We don't have to accept the tracking of our traces, the plunder of our data, or the snatching of our faces. Go to fly.ajl.org and let your voice be heard. I am Dr. Joy Balamwini. 
the founder of the Algorithmic Justice League. And I am not a Barbie girl. TSA is just Ken. Freedom Flight Summer!